Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the match preview for Everton against Arsenal. Yet another game is here, yet another very tough game is here. Everton, they've just beaten Leicester away from home 2-0. They've just beaten Chelsea at home 1-0, so they're looking very good. They're fifth on the table with a win, they could go into the top two, so very very contrasting from Arsenal's form. So in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the, the all-time record between the two teams, the recent meetings and of course um, the season's form for both teams and my lineup plus my prediction for the game. So let's just get straight into it. So for the all-time record we have played Everton so many times. Probably the first time in a while I've seen a um, triple figure number of wins for Arsenal against an opposition because we've played them so many times. So in total, we've beaten them 108 times. They've beaten us 61 times and they've been 46 draws. So those are very many games, more than 200 games between the two teams. Um, the last five games at Goodison Park, that is what I wanted to take a look at. We've won two of those games, including a 5-2 back in 2017 when uh, Sanchez and um, Ozil had a masterclass. And uh, Everton have beaten us twice. Remember, 3-0 victory. Um, there was a 1-0 victory. So they've enjoyed a couple of wins against us. And there's been one there's been one during the last five games. So kind of equal. And then if you extend that to the last 10 meetings, Everton have won three. Arsenal have won four and there have been three draws, so it's very, very tight. They usually never ever beat us at the Emirates or Highbury. In fact, the last time they beat us at home was way back in 1996. Um, that was like before Wenger came in, so that's a long time ago. But away, away, away from home, we actually do get some results there, but this time round, are we confident? Mm, I don't think so. So um, the last time we faced them, you'd remember it was actually last December at a time like this, in fact. Um, that was Jumbag's last game as interim manager. That was um, Duncan Ferguson's last game as interim manager for them. And um, both Mikel Arteta and Carlo Ancelotti were in the stands watching their final game before they take charge. They took charge. So that's very interesting. We are now facing up one year later, exactly one year later. On the table, form-wise, they're definitely dominating us. People have been asking why he didn't go for Ancelotti, why he didn't ever go for Arteta. Everton this season, they are fifth, they're fifth right now. They've played 13 games, they've won seven, they've drawn two, and they've lost four. Some tough losses away from home to the likes of um, Newcastle, Southampton. They also lost at home to United. They have 23 points, they've scored 23 goals and 18 conceded. So they are full of goals. I remember 5-2 against West Brom, there was a 4-2 against Brighton. I think there was a 3-1 against Southampton, so they are always full of goals. And for us... We need a win from somewhere. It's, there's no need of telling you guys about Arsenal's form because we've been all over the place, literally. So we definitely need to do something. Um, so that is the recent record. That is our all-time record, and that is the form for this season. So without wasting any more time, let me get into what my lineup would be, what lineup I would expect to to at least get something away from Everton, hopefully, and, of course, my prediction. So... That's the next topic and let's get into it. For my lineup, um, it's going to be kind of different from the predicted lineup I did the other day. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now. I'm expecting Bellerin to come back to the lineup, but for me, I wouldn't bring him back for this one. I'll bring him back for the City Carabao Cup match first. So for me, I'm going to go with Leno in goal. Add start Cedric on the right side. Tierney on the left side, and of course, since Gabriel is suspended, we are, we are having to start Luis and Holding as the partners. We could turn that into a back five and I never needed with Saka as the left wing back, but I prefer this one as for now. And then in the middle, I'd go with Mohamed El Nini and Maitland Niles. These guys are very strong in midfield. Um, luckily, they'll be missing Alan, who got an injury. Um, quick recovery to him, so... They'll be missing something there. They're going to have to start Andre Gomez. So I'd have Niles and Mohamed Elin in the middle just to try and combat them. And then as the number 10, as I'd have Lacazette. He played very well in the in the Europa League in that position. And then on the left, Aubameyang. On the right, um, Pepe. Oh, 
sorry on the left sack and then up front Aubameyang of course with those front four it could it could literally be anything you could have Aubameyang on the left Lacazette as the striker Saka as the 10 Pepe on the right or you could have Pepe as the 10 we've seen Saka playing on the right we've seen um, Lacazette as the number 10 you could you could have a front two of Aubameyang and Lacazette really really depends but of course the way to Everton you don't want to be too open in midfield so that would be my starting lineup and then on the bench Ranason obviously Mustafi Chambers will come back to this team because you're short of um fullbacks not that Chambers is a fullback but he has played in the right back position um in the middle Danny Sabayos William Ketia and uh, Willock can also come from the bench Sabayos William and Willock as a midfield and Ketia front so that would be my starting lineup and my bench my prediction we've drawn there last time we lost there before that so I'm going to go for a 1-1 one -one draw hopefully they've lost at home to Leeds they've lost at home to United so I'm hoping we get something from that it's going to be very hard of course they've also beaten the likes of Chelsea there it's going to be very hard so 1-1 one -one is my prediction another draw for Arsenal we're starting to have as many draws as we are having last season so let me know what your prediction is and let me know what your starting lineup would be do you expect Everton to beat us and uh, how how tough do you expect the match to be as usual thank you for watching keep staying safe and i'll catch up with you guys later